There you go. It's black and white and red all over, Aster. <laughs> I thought it was you. Great sense of humor. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> and if you guys could spread the love, I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't um, subscribed to my YouTube channel, I have it in the um, comments. There's a link. Go ahead and do so if you don't mind. That would be awesome. All right, let's get started. This was originally one of those um, wreaths. I think it was from A.C. Moore. It had all that tinsel garland all over it. Well, that tinsel garland used to be pink and purple, and it's not anymore. So I decided to rip it up and jack it up all right so there are some knobs on here i do not need those knobs so we're gonna ditch the knobs okay i only had three more to cut here there we go and i went like this to grab them and they went all over the floor and one's in my shoe <laughs> earlier i also had three um, bones here that I bought a design offline on Etsy and I was going to put the vinyl on him. Well, the lady's file was corrupt. She's having a hard time reaching it and pulling it out um, and reposting it for me. So the bones did not get done. So I'll go back and do those later. And then I'll go ahead and show you what I've done. Probably tomorrow. All right, so what I did, I took this heart and I kind of turned it upside down. Hi, Levon. I turned it upside down and I traced the heart, this inner heart, okay? And I wanted a seam allowance on it because my plan with this was I took two pieces of fabric, thank you, Sue, and I sewed it together and I filled it with batting. Well, actually, it's that poly fiber fill because what I want to do, I didn't want to just do what everybody else does with their heart frames. I wanted to do something different and I actually wanted it to pop off the frame there you go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue this to the frame that's how it's going to stay attached okay so we're going to start off with that so i'm going to put a little bit of glue along here and glue a little bit at a time This, uh, this flannel will pick up any kind of dust. All right. Hello, Miss Nanny Dot. Y'all, my, um, my pet sitter is on here. The frame Teresa came from AC Moore. It was one of those tinsel garland uh, wreaths. I took all that off and then cut the little knobbies off. Okay, <clears throat> so we're actually just gluing this now to the frame. I went ahead and like I said, I made a pattern. I stitched it together because I wanted the overhang. I wanted to glue it to the frame because there's something that's going to cover up the frame. Okay, so I wanted that to sit just like that, which it is. Yep, doing good. Now I could have ragged it out too. I could have snipped along um, this edge, this, this part that's hanging over. I could have stitched along there and I could have washed it a couple of times. Wash, okay, thank you, Levon. 
I appreciate the sharing and spreading the love for me. Thank you, darling. Okay, so see, it's 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 going exactly how I wanted it so far. Did y'all see my buddy Wilhelmina? She's she was on. She did a live tonight. I'm so proud of her. We met in the at the wreath conference in Rochester. She did awesome. I shared it for her. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Susie. Just hit that share button and then everybody that is on your page will see it and come join us. Yes, she did. She was awesome. She does really pretty wreaths. She's been at this a while. And then she moved. Her and her husband took me to Hobby Lobby when I was in Rochester. That's the first time I had been there. It was, it was thrilling. She was laughing the entire time because I was like a kid in a candy store. I had one cart full, let me tell you. Well, I think I showed y'all when I came back. Okay, I'm just double checking to make sure it's adhered in all the places because, oh, ladies, I sat and made pom-poms today. We're talking lots of pom-poms. <laughs> Yes, she was. She did awesome. And her husband, Steve, was narrating for her. He's, he's, he's awesome. I had such a great time with them. That, that is one hubby, one supportive hubby, let me tell you. He got right on there, and he read all the comments for her. He did such an awesome job. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. I am making her a set of gnomes. She has a sign that she has not been able to find a gnome to match the sign. So I am recreating the gnomes for her. And you see the gnome I posted yesterday? It sold already. I sold out of them on Etsy. I made some small ones. I got to post those. All right. So there's what it looks like so far. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this or this in between the pom-poms because I'm gonna do white, red, white, red, blah, 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 okay? So, and like I said, I was, going to have my bones done live laugh live love and bark to sit on here but I didn't get the uh... hi Michelle how are you all right I'm just gonna try this I don't know if this is how I want it to go but I'm just gonna try it first thought about attaching these to every crossbar here and then putting my pom-poms in between or I don't know if I'm going to do the mesh the snowball mesh I don't know I'm not sure. I think that's too busy. As much as I like that, I think it's too busy. So, hi Kathy, welcome. All right. I think I'm gonna use this, but I have to figure out how I'm gonna attach it. So, let me think on this a second. Because this design I had in my head, but it's kind of like 
I'm gonna alter it as I go. Hi, Susan. All right, I think I'm gonna tie it to the frame in every crossbar, all right? And just see if I like it. If I don't, we'll change it out. So I wanted to add a little color, pop of color. Okay, what's your opinion? What's that look like sticking out there? Hi Vivian, how are you? Do you think the tubing looks good or not? What's your take? Because these are going to cover up. All right. They're going to go all the way around. Then we're going to make a ribbon bow that hangs down from the bottom. What's your take? Nay, yay or nay? And then I have little black pom-poms to kind of go in between if I want. Cloth, tag, ties might be cute. Cloth. Oh, so you're talking like cut one of these up and use this. I don't think I'll like the way that will hang when it gets to the top. That's why I was thinking that because it kind of, you know, I could kind of put the ties in the back. Huh. I'm thinking on that idea. We could always leave it off and go back. I think I like the boldness of the black though. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave it off the bottom one because that's where the um, where the rag bow is going to go. I know, isn't this cute? This I found at Joanne's. Joanne Fabrics had it. And I make um, little male dog belly bands so i actually bought this for the dogs but fell in love with it all right i think i th oh i don't know i kind of like that i see what you're saying but i kind of wanted the emphasis of the rag bow at the bottom and if i have a lot of stuff hanging that's not what i want so I think I will just go ahead and put the pom-poms on and then leave the bottom for the rag bow, okay? That's what we'll do. And if I want to, I can go back and I can add a little piece here or there because I like the way that this sticks out and when it gets to the top, it's gonna be floppy and I, I won't like that, so. That's not me. And, okay, if you want a fluffier pom-pom, take, um, there's brushes that they have for dogs. They have little metal teeth in them. If you use those, you can actually make this fluffier. I did one. I may go back and do some more not sure oh I'm trying to remember the name of that darn it's a really metal like um, has little metal teeth ah. yep I'm gonna attempt to dear all right so I'm gonna go white red white red white red with the pom-poms. I sat there today and I made all these 
pom poms. I think I'm just gonna glue them. I don't think I need that. Just gonna glue. Just do that, do that. There we go. Yep. Everyone. It's kind of like a small rag though. It's not going to be a big one because I don't want it to overpower. I just wanted it to hang down and give it another. And I even had this too. There, see where it says Emily Langreep? That is my daughter-in-law and my son is joining me tonight. Guys, say hi to Joseph and Emily. They're expecting in June. He's now gotten a promotion. Well, I don't know if you call it a promotion because it's the same job, but he's now going to day shift. So he's going to be living like the rest of us. Joey's the one, Sue, that had the concussion. Sue worried about you and talked about you and offered all kinds of help for you, hon. That's my youngest, Joseph. This is a first that one of my sons actually joined me on a live. He's the one that has the podcast. There's Levon. Joseph Levon is from Florida. She has a huge dog named Harless. We've got a few on from North Carolina. Everybody tell Joey where you're from. Joseph. He's doing awesome. And they're expecting their first child in June. And his wife is going to be so surprised at her shower. She's not allowed to know what we're doing. There, Annette's from Minnesota. Minnesota, don't you know? Usually we have a few people from over the pond on here. That one didn't hold too well. You guys all know I love to sew, and I'm going to be making curtains for their baby's room. They are an awesome couple. We love them. Emily is going to be an awesome mom. Joey's going to be an awesome dad. He's my baby. He's my baby, but he's taller than me. <laughs> he's what six five he's a good kid they also have two of my paul babies stanley and flynn i think joe emily's gonna want this wreath joey Handmade by your mama. Made all these little pom poms tonight. Well, today. When I should be sewing and getting ready for the shower on Saturday for my other son. His wife's having a baby the end of February. How's that looking so far, guys? Thank you all for making them feel welcome. And that look cute. So see, a wreath doesn't always have to be about mesh. It can be something entirely different. 
And I'm loving these pom-poms. Hi, Ty. How are you? Ty is part of our, we have a paid group. And Ty is one of our members on our paid group. She's awesome. Yes, we have four grandchildren right now, but they're very far away. Well, three and a half hours. So it's not like we can just run and see them whenever we want. We always have to get Nanny Dot to come in and take care of the dogs and set up a time to go visit. And so it's just nice that I'm going to have local grandbabies. I was even hoping my granddaughter would be on here today. You all remember my granddaughter. She loves to watch her mama. She really misses everybody since she went home. Let's see. Yep, we're going to end up with a white one. Good. There's Carla. Carla, my son Joseph, and his wife Emily are on here tonight. My youngest. guys hear my phone ringing <laughs> how's it looking so far don't you just love that print and hopefully tomorrow I'll get my um, my bones done and then I can I want to darken them up a little that red does not go with that red so I want to wash it with black a little bit to darken it up a little and then put my words on there. Live, love, bark. Thank you, Esther. It didn't really take too long to do the pom-poms. It's just a long process. Joey Carla is one of my um, my team designers. We have a paid group, and Carla is one of the designers. She has the One Stop Boutique, and she lives in Utah. He's starting day shift tomorrow. He's so happy, and I know his wife is happy too. Right, Em? This is his first time on here with me. He is making me so happy. If you all are interested in joining our paid group, just let us know. It's $19.95 a month. And we do stuff like this on there and all kinds of other stuff. It, just ask Ty. She'll tell you. We have a good time. We laugh. We have fun. Right, Ty? Sometimes we're bad. <laughs> it's on a Zoom call, so you actually get to talk to us. You don't have to type anything. I'm going to probably have to put some kind of trim in here because my stitches are showing there. So I'll trim it out with something.
Yep. All these pom poms made on the pom pom maker today. And you know, I showed you guys how to do it, how I have that little pom pom maker and I wrap it. What I ended up doing was when I trim it and tie it off, I put a little dot of glue in there. I'm told that that really holds it well. There you go. Yes, it does, Esther. We go over everything. We give you tips and tricks. Yes, ma'am. And you get seven of us. We have seven designers. So it's not one. There's seven of us. <clears throat> So I started out with this, trace the inner, inner um, heart, left an edge so I can tuck it under and glue it. I stuffed it. Esther, hi Debbie. What you do is you go to Team of Dreams. In fact, I think, um, Carla can add, and I think I do have the, let me look, what, yes, I do have the link to, it says in the comments, you'll see all my links, and it says new design group, and you hit that, and it takes you to PayPal, thank you, Joanne, I appreciate that. When they say they're spreading the love, Joey, they're actually sh hitting the share button and sharing it for me. Now I had another glue stick. Here we go. Carla, can you just throw the link on there for Esther? It's nice because we do it on a Zoom call. You can do it from zoom.com on a phone or a computer. So you can actually talk to us and ask us questions directly. We help you out any way we can. You are so welcome. In fact, Susan is on tonight. She's the designer. We meet on Monday nights and Friday nights at 8 Eastern Standard Time. And what we do is each time, each, each time somebody is the designer, sometimes we have two designers at once, and uh, we show you how to do all kinds of different things. We have LaVon with Forever Dreams of You by LaVon. She does, she does painting, um, furniture, restoration, wreaths, more than she told us she could do. There you go. Hi, Rita. There's Rita from Rita's Wreath Barn. She's one of our designers. She has Rita's Wreath Barn. Carla has the One Stop Boutique. I have Robin's Wreath Wreath. Dawn has Wreath Decor by Dawn. Um, Sandy Pastor, she does Chalk Couture. She has Trending Designs by Sandy. And then we have Susan with AC Inspired Wreaths. So you get seven of us for the price of one. I showed how to make those gnomes on there. Um, we've done swags, centerpieces, wreaths, um, all kinds of stuff that we don't do on our regular lives. We go over bow making. 
You name it, we do it. Well, Esther, if you joined up tonight, you'd probably be able to go on, but we always tape them, so they're always recorded. So at any time, you can go on to the left side of, your, of the page and look under videos, and all the uh, Zoom calls that we did are all on there. So they're all recorded. So we have them all the way back to when we started the group. So if you don't get to see it tonight, oh, thank you, Vivian. And if anybody has this Michael's frame and wants the uh, heart, I can make them. I can put it in my Etsy shop. I just thought it was something different. I Yes, I could have covered this with mesh. I could have covered it with ribbon. But you all know me. My designs have to be different. So, thank you. Thank you, Joseph. All right, love you. Everybody say goodbye to Joseph. <laughs> I'm sure he just loves that. <laughs> Thanks, son. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. I made the heart in the middle to fit this wreath. I have some bones which I'm not through painting them yet. And the design I tried to get off of Etsy today got messed up, so. But see, it, one will say live, love, bark. I'm, I may stagger them, I may hang them one at a time down like that, I don't know. But when I get that done, I will show. And that was my son under Emily Langrebe. He was hanging out with us for the first time. He starts day shift tomorrow, finally. After I don't know how many years he's worked at that company. He's the one that got the concussion, got whacked in the head. All right, so what we're gonna do I thought it'd be kind of cool to make some kind of a rag bow to like just hang down from here. I've never done one before. So let's see what we can do. Let's see how much trouble we can get into. And who knows, we may see more of my son now that he's going to be working days. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the widest. I don't know if I want that. Do I want that color there? <laughs> sure thing. How's that? Let me just see if visually you can it takes a minute for the computer. You think I add that to it? Or is that too much like this? Because I want to start off with the widest bow first and then work my way down. Yes. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, uh, wait do you see. I'm making gnomes for Wilhelmina. She has a sign that she can't find gnomes to match it. So I'm going to be matching, making her custom gnomes for her wreath. The gnome I made last night, it sold today. And I've got some smaller ones that I'm making. And hey, y'all, the showers this weekend. I'm, I want to try and do a live from the shower after we put all the decorations up so you can all see what I've been doing because I haven't been able to do it on here. Um, I actually was the designer on our group Friday night. 
and I did a Woodlands diaper cake. So after the shower, I'll be able to share a lot with you guys that I couldn't share because I was afraid my other daughter-in-law would be watching and we're keeping her in the dark about everything. <laughs> All right, then this is the next one. All I'm gonna do is just make a simple bow here and keep piling it on top of each other. I didn't wanna make a big bow up here or hang it from a big bow because it's already got the hanger there. I wanted the um, ribbons to hang down below and just flutter in the wind. And Kathy, I loved your um, rabbit, but that is so cute. We think a lot alike, girl, because every time I go to do something, you've already done it. So, we have similar tastes in a lot of stuff. Even Yorkies. <laughs> All I have are red, white, and black. Oh, and I do have, do you think this needs any like black pom-poms in there? Here and there? Or do you think that's too much? I have enough to do some. If you think that would look good. What's your thoughts? Yay, nay. I have more. Welcome back, Joanne. You like them on the inside? The black ones. Like I could do like. No I do like them on the inside better. I have more. If I took the black. I could actually cover over the seam I'm showing. So I have more. I could, I could probably do the whole. What do you think? Is that too much? If I do them all. Yes, it's too much, or yes, you like it, or scrap it, or go back to single. All right, adding another layer here. And all I'm doing is putting the different um, colors in the bow. Thank you, Esther. You like them single? So when you mean single, you mean just like I had it before in between like that? Is that what you mean? Single. Okay. I have all kinds of ribbon here. Okay, here and there. Got Sharita. Yeah, I even showed how to do the diaper cake on, on when it was my turn to design. Um, we do all kinds of stuff. Whenever we're asked, we do. I like that it's on a live 
and we can talk to each other. I mean, on a Zoom call. Okay, thanks, Brenda. I'm just making the, the bow that's gonna hang down. I'm just gonna hang it at the bottom. Just all hanging down. And here's a skinny black one. Now, I don't know, I could add this to the back of the bow. Could have some white, the paw print one. Where's the end of this? There we go. So I went from wide to skinny. Probably looks like one heck of a mess, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to add it at the back. What the heck? And see, this doesn't necessarily have to be um, a Valentine's wreath. Because everybody loves their dogs, right? So it can just be a pet wreath. So it could be hung up all the time. All right. Now, I think I'm going to use my tinsel ties. Do have some leftover black here. Look at that I made all those pom poms and I have some left over. Yes to the paw print. Gotcha, Rita. All right. So here we go. Let's see if I can drop this thing. And make it fall apart. <laughs> Be my luck. Did y'all see the video of my babies eating today? They are up there with full bellies. Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. Just making sure I got everything side to side here. You know how I like my tinsel ties better than my uh, pipe cleaners. You know it. Weren't they, Michelle? They are so... It is so funny when I go in now and they bark at me. I mean, they're hearing noises now and they're just acting like little... Their little personalities are starting to come through, and they are adorable. I know I'm I'm partial, <laughs> but they they are just the sweetest little puppies. And they're the ones that decided they're going to start eating. I usually don't start until five or six weeks, and the one litter is um, four weeks old tonight. The one that was the colored litter. All the different colors okay I've really never had a litter that wanted to go this early with the food but hey they want to go it'll make hopefully make my job much easier because when I'm weaning them, that is the worst time ever. They are susceptible to hypoglycemia. So any kind of stress or lack of 
nutrition at any time can cause them into sugar shock and that is so scary. Now I'm going to leave this long in case I decide I want to do something different to it. But I'll just tuck it up in there. Look at that, how neat that looks. Oh, losing my bows or my black pom poms. I'll take them off. There we go. Pull all the layers out evenly. I guess the rag bow is just supposed to be kind of floppy. There we go. Okay, what do you think? Let me uh, scan up here. Hi, Jonathan. How are you, hon? Thank you, Rita. got a piece that's falling rogue on me here. Oh no, I don't. There it is. I think I am going to pull these up. Thank you, Jonathan. We started out with the A. Seymour wreath base cut all the little knobby things off, took that discolored, ugly um, stuff that was on it, that tinsel garland roping stuff. Then I made a pattern, traced this one here, handmade my um, heart, because I actually wanted the heart to puff up above the pom-poms. That's why I went with the pom-poms and not mesh because I wanted that to kind of like hug it and make it look different. You know how I am. I don't like doing what everybody else does. I like my stuff to be different. I think we need to trim a few down here. There. Now that's better. So what do you think? Thank you, Nanny Dot. Dorothy is Nanny Dot. She is my puppy pet sitter. Dog sitter. The dogs just love her. And then when I get these finished, when the person finally gets the um, SVG file to me, I'm going to darken these a little to make them look closer to the red on here. And it's going to say, live, love, bark. Wouldn't that be cute? And then I still have to put my 
black pom-poms in between here all around. What do you think? Thank you, Sue. Been thinking about you all day, girl. Natty Dot, did you see that Joey and Emily were on? They came to watch. And we've got the, um, the shower this weekend. Oh my gosh, what do you see? I'm, I'm going live from the shower because you guys have got to see everything I've been working on. Thank you, Dawn. Dawn, Esther's on here and she wants to join our group. Isn't that awesome? These are actually the little pom-poms from um, Dollar Tree. I got them a while back. There we go. There it is with, you know what? This just looks like it needs one right there. How's that? I had this garland and I was going to try that, but it didn't, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I know, right? And Ty's on here and Ty was telling her how much fun she has when she's on with us. Two, two hours today I made pom-poms and there's extra left over. <laughs> how did that happen? Gosh. Ugh. there you go peoples if you have the ac more frame and you want the heart just message me i can make you one and ship it not sure i think ten dollars is reasonable because there's stuffing in there I know, right? I told her, hurry up and go join. Maybe she'll be, we can approve her and she could come on tonight and watch us. Wouldn't that be awesome? Tell her how much fun we have on our lives, on our Zoom calls. I did a Woodlands um, diaper cake. We have wreath signs, um, you name it. We do it. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. Um, I'll get these finished, hopefully by tomorrow. And then, um, ooh, maybe I could put a little heart on there too. Um, sorry. <laughs> and don't forget to go to through my um, links and sign up on my YouTube channel. There's a button there, the link to go in and subscribe. Because you never know when one of us will be in Facebook jail. So, if I can't be on here, you know I'll be on there. And I think something's gone on with the, uh, the mini chat where you get a message every time we go live. Um, so, they may be taking that away. So, you want to be prepared to find me. If you like me. What's not to like, right? <laughs> uh. all right i go live on wednesday at two in the afternoon eastern standard time so all right esther go to it we need a bell we need a bell so every time somebody joins we can just ring that bell every time we do our lives we got some awesome stuff coming up I don't know what Sue has planned for tonight, but I may be a few minutes late because I have to go take care of the moms and take care of the puppies. Okay. All right, guys, y'all have a great night and thank you so much. You want two? Somebody said they want two. Okay, Patty. I will make you two, dear. All right. All right, guys, have a great night, and thanks so much for sharing and joining and hanging out with me and saying hello to my son and his wife. That was just awesome. All right, good night.